Kansas City Automotive Museum is here, and tell us about this beauty that you brought today. So we brought a 1939 Ford convertible, um, a little bit of a hot rod slash custom. Um, with the flames, it's been uh, been chopped. The running boards have been removed. So just a combination of a couple of different styles. When did you uh, begin your love affair with cars? Oh gosh, my love affair started very very early. Um, I probably would have been four or five. Started with my mom and dad, uh, then being into cars, and then in our family business, Pete and Jake's Hot Rod Parts once more into cars mm -hmm. so I've always it's been in your jeans exactly yes why is it important to do this kind of work what, what do you think this does for well, us not just car lovers but just culturally absolutely and what it does especially with my involvement in the Kansas City Automobile Museum what we're trying to do is um, be the caretakers of this for the next generation for my kids my grandkids and that's one of the things that I promote when we go and we talk about the museum it's history you know, the cars are part of not just Kansas City history, but our history in general. And we need to preserve it. You bet. So we work hard to do that. You do work very hard. What does it take to maintain a car like this? Oh, my gosh. You know, you have, um, you know, just from the, the paints of today are so much better. Mm -hmm. Because now it's like our, the paints on our average cars that we have. You know, you wash them, you maintain them, you, com you clean them. But with these cars, they're not out in the, the salt and the sand in the winter time like most cars are so it can be a little bit easier and of course each car lover one of the things they love to do is clean their car so <laughs> now tell us a little bit about the interior because it is as beautiful inside as it is outside most of them are you know and the the, the thing that we try and do in the hot rods is we want to make them comfortable that's the whole purpose you right. know not only does do we want them to look good we also want them to to feel good when we're in them so when we uh, line and we do the dash we put the gauges in we put the steering wheel in I always tell customers spend a tremendous amount of time there because that's what's so important you're going to be sitting in it right. and that's what you're going to be looking at tell us on the KC um, Auto Museum so the museum we've uh, we've been around since 2011 2014 we got a facility in Olathe mm -hmm. and uh, but in the early days the uh, the Kansas City Auto Show allowed us to bring cars down there before we even had a facility mm -hmm. so now we work hard to support them as well this year I think we've brought like uh, 21 cars we've got five motorcycles that are going to be on display down there we have some early from all the way from 1915 we have a circus truck all the way into the 60s we have some muscle cars down there so there are people who are passionate about certain cars too like we have a reporter here Charlie Keegan his dad has a Cadillac that he's refurbished and it's absolutely beautiful I think sure. 1939 Cadillac is this your style because I know you had the California kid last time you were here you're right you know I'm, I'm more um, in although I enjoy all cars hot rods are kind of my love but it's also our business so I'm more familiar with those than I am with some of the other cars but don't get me wrong I love all cars <laughs> I, I, I enjoy a good Cadillac as well and what can we expect from the auto show for someone who has never been there? Well, you know, for me, when you go to the auto show, you get to see what's available today. Mm -hmm. You get to see available what's going to be available in the future. But then, of course, with us, with the Kansas City Auto Museum, you also see where we came from. You get to see, you know, today you'll go down there and see, okay, well, this is what would have been at an, uh, a 1915 auto show, mm -hmm. and here's what at, what's at a 2018 auto show. And is these cars have a story, don't they? Oh, they do. You know, each, each, each one of the cars have a story, and like you had mentioned, you know, you talk about, it was my grandfather's car, it was my father's car. Right. So a lot of times the love is ingrained with family. And that's why you see so many cars being restored, because it was part of a family. Or they go out, and I had one in high school. I want another one. I want another one. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Is there one car today that you think will be a classic 50 years from now? Oh, gosh. I, I think, you know, when you look at the muscle cars of today, we talk about the Mustang. We talk about um, the Hellcat um, with the, the Chrysler products. Any of those cars that you see, eventually they will do the same thing that 68, 69, Mustang, Camaro, um, all of those cars. It's going to be the same way because typically you find it's about power. If it can go fast, you'll usually see it go through longevity of history. <laughs> this is People invested. Thank Absolutely. you so much for stopping by and bringing this beauty with you. You, bet. Uh, you can enjoy the Kansas City Auto Show right now through March 4th. We'll have a link with all the details Great. that you need at the KCU Live.tv website. Thank you so much. Beautiful car. Thanks for bringing Thank it you. Up. Thank you.